Salam alaikum friends, welcome back to the channel, all is Dean Sharfavi. In this video, we're going to see another time splash screens. So the reason I'm doing another video is about splash screen is that in the previous video, the link was posted here, I only show how you do it in Android Plus 12 because of the new API. So I will show in this thing because lots of person asked me how to do it also in Jetpack Compose. Well, I will show it how to do Jetpack Compose, but it's not actually the good way of doing it like you shouldn't do it part of jetpack compose because the purpose of splash screen isn't just about sharing that icon it's about when the app gets uh, launched i will show you the problem with jetpack compose in a minute why it's not jetpack compose only if you do it in the view system it will be just the same thing so by example you understand it. okay so here i'm having just a simple app the previous app as always it is just product applications and we are going to use that logo here in order to do our experimentation so as you can see the app launches with that white screen and then it displayed this. The purpose of the splash screen is to not disable that white thing, but of course to give the user some time to load some data, for example, or check some user state, maybe you want to show this screen or that screen, but also to prevent that white screen. It's called the launcher screen. Let me just show it to you. I think you saw also some examples. And um, we do have a main activity. I'm going to create completely another activity, just for the sake of example. Let's call it splash activity, for example. And it will be just class, we extend for the component activity, of course. And then exactly this will tell you that you are using custom splash. I will provide press custom splash screen here because it will tell you that this is not a good way of doing so. We will show how you can do an animated splash screen for the sake of example. So of course, you are going to have normal or create. And here I'm going to use my app theme, of course, in order to provide the values of what is that? Sorry, let me set the content, of course. So here I'm using the app theme and you are going to design just a simple splash screen. Splash screen, of course. And yeah, let's create a function called splash screen and it will be a composable function, of course. And here I'm going to create an animated splash screen. What we will have is simply we will have a big box, right? So it will be a box. And within that box, we will have, yeah, let's do a preview also. So you can check the preview while you are working. Within that box, we will have an image with the painter and it will be a painter resources of art.drawable.log like that. And now come to description, nice. And then this will be modifier.fill max size. And then you can have uh, some alignment. It will be in the center, center. And this is basically how you create splash screen, that simple. It's not a big deal. Yeah, of course, we need to add this to the manifest. Okay, we need to create another activity. Let's call this one the main activity, of course, because this one will be the second one and export it to false, of course. Of course, we are defining two times and then we set splash screen here. And that's basically it. That's how you create an activity. So let's just print and refresh so we can see the screen. We can also maybe provide some background color. Exactly, this is our splash screen. So you can provide some background color, for example, background color. For example, you can provide this kind of color, okay? Now, if you run this application right now, okay, so what will happen? Sorry, exactly. We need to wait also for some, some time. We can do that via launch effect here. We can provide true, so it won't be changing. If you want to check some launch effect, what is that exactly, you can check my videos. This will help us to execute this block only one time. We will delay for two seconds. And then simply we are going to do start activity, normal with intent. Oh, I'm not using any navigation compose for the sake of going faster. All right. So it will be main activity, but class, of course. And you should use the this, but you need to reference splash activity because the this here means the scrutiny. Okay, I think I can do this thing. And as you can see, what will happen, we're going to see it next. So this is not the right way to do it. I'm just showing you if you want to do it, how you can do it, of course. So as you can see, it will launch white, then this thing, and then it will go, okay? But what we wanted to use for directly from the beginning is to use that bluish thing. Let me just repeat it for you. It is lashing, it is white, then this comes, then it goes, okay? Fine. Uh, if you want to animate this thing, you can do animation in different ways you want. If you want to animate only the alpha of this thing, so it will go from zero to one, for example, we can do it via simple animation. We can do it like that by remembering a state, of course. Yeah, this one, and you are going to remember animatable. Okay, not this one, not 
actual yeah exactly i need the actual this one okay i will just import it yeah this one remove it from here and just import this like the following okay so the alpha will be here right and then we are going to use the alpha here in the modifier so it will be modifier dot alpha exactly and you give it the alpha value so okay of course you need to use the value here and then when we'll start yeah it will start from here we are going to do animate or oh, sorry this alpha animation we are going to animate the value to one f okay here we can provide several stuff you can provide the animation spec which is very crucial animation spec there is multiple animations we are going to use the twin animation and the duration will be 1.5 seconds like that and you can even uh, do some easing that's beautiful just by compose there is many many easings you can do easing and then you can check linear out slow on easing and so on i'm going to use yeah i think the default one is perfect then we can run it can check the animation here i think there is tool in which you can run the animation directly from here, but let's run the application and check. Of course, we will have that uh, white screen first, and then we have our app and it is animating as you can see, and boom, it will go, okay? So until the animation completes, it will start that delay, and then it will go. That's basically how you create Jetpack Compose splash screen, but this is not the right way to do it, of course. So the splash screen purpose isn't just about showing a good thing before it starts. Well, this is oh, this is a good thing, of course, but it helps us like load some values, check if the user is authenticated or not. So maybe we can go to the login activity or authentication activity, for example. But while the application loads for the first time, it will show that white screen. We don't want to show that. We want to show something else. We call that launcher. So we are going to implement the perfect splash screen right now. So the first thing to do here, we are going to work with XML. There is no other option. Of course, there is options to work with Android plus web and minus web. I'm going to show both options here. So if you create job ball here, let's call it splash background like that. This would be a layer list, right? And inside that layer list, this is just XML stuff. We're going to have an item. This item would be the color aspect of our thing, which is the color. So the color would be that same exact color you can use. Sometimes you can use a combination between both. So this would be just for the color, for example. Yeah, do it like that. And then you can launch your activity here and do that animation so it seems like it is working well. Okay, that would work. That's a viable option. But let's do it in the correct way, of course. And then we have another item, which is, of course, our, I think, bitmap. Yeah, bitmap. And here, while you have many stuff, of course, you have to do CRC. So it is logo like that and boom. And you can specify also gravity to be at the center. And that's how you do the splash screen background. Now you need to give that background to some theme. Yeah, so you need to do that in theme, like basically in a style. So here you create another style. Let's call it, yeah, of course, style. And let's call it theme.splash, for example. And of course, let's have the same parent as here. Where is it? Boom. That's all you need. And basically here you need to set different stuff. You need to have an item for the status bar color. Yeah, we can do that. So it is our color like that. And then we need to set another item, which is window background. I think, yeah, exactly this one. So this will have value of at drawable, but not the logo, which is splash background. Now we need to set this thing, this splash screen theme into our application splash screen theme. So we need to go here, where is it? Manifest and tell it that the splash screen theme, it's not this one, but it is splash screen. Well, I need to wait to go to the other activity. So I will disable this thing. So to be composable that just runs for the sake of running. Yeah, let me delete those, 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 those. Or I'll just delete it. I will just do a delay afterward. So let me just run. So let's run it and see the difference. It goes directly, as you can see, when we have another problem here. So the first color we got isn't white. It was that blue, directly the blue one. And of course, the problem is this one is pretty big. Like if I show it to you, it's pretty big. It's 500 by 500. I can resize it, I think. I'll not resize it, but I mean, I can. Well, I should be resized to fit the screen. So it's not that purpose. You can have a good image 32 by 32 and that would work. So just in real app, of course, just use a smaller one of these so it can work. So this is the way on how to implement splash screens 
but prior to what? Prior to Android 12. As I said, you can use the combination of both. Let me just repeat what I have done here. So I can have the same thing, but what I can do, I can remove that thing from the splash background. I will remove that. So it will act as the combination of both. You will notice that. So it is shown and then it will have that thing and then it will go. That's also a valid option to use both. This is the launcher screen and of course the Jetpack Compose. And for the other way, like after Android 12 plus Android 12, which API 31, 33 or 32, I don't remember quite well. You can use, like I already did a video about it. So you can check that video on how to implement that. You need just basically a different API and you don't have anything like that. You need just to call something called install splash screen. And you need, of course, to provide some kind of style in which you show, you tell it, what, you, what is the background, what is the status bar color. I think it's, it's, I think it's the same thing. What is the brand color? What is like some specific values you can implement? I already did a video about that and that I don't have to repeat it here. Just check that video to see how you can implement it plus and total. So with this video and that video, you can see how you can implement the perfect splash screen in your Android application. That's basically it. Thank you for watching this video to the end. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Salam alaikum.